So last time I talked about um, this issue of basically evaluating our model on the same data we fit it to, right? The model can effectively memorize the answer and look like it is doing well even if it didn't really learn anything. And so the way we'll deal with this problem is we'll use something um, in sklearn called a train test split. And this is a general strategy, but this specific method will make it easy for us. And what we'll do is I'll take our original data frame and give us back two data frames. Uh, we'll train our model to one data frame and then uh, we'll evaluate it on the other one on the data the model has not seen before. And so it's a better test of whether it's doing well. And so I can see that there's a number of things I can pass into this. Um, one is I can say, well, um, what ratio of my data would I like to, I like to go into my test set? Um, I can say other things like um, um, try to stratify the data. Like let's say I was dealing with something categorical. I might want to make sure that I have a similar number of categories on both sides. I'm not trying to do that here, but I will specify a trained test set. So let me import this thing. I'm going to say um, from sklearn import, oh, it's sklearn.model selection import train test split. Okay, and then I'm going to say train test split. And I'm just going to try to split up my data frame that I have originally. And basically, it's returning something called an array with two data frames in it. And so the way I can capture this is I can say, well, I have my train data frame and my test data frame is the order it's going to return them in. And so let me take a look at these. Here's my train data frame. And then here is my test data frame. And, and you can see that it kind of shuffled things around, right? If I look at the index, and I'm dealing with different data, right? So this is the data frame that my model is gonna learn from. And then this other one is the one I'm gonna to use to actually make sure it learns something. And, and so I can see right now, if I look at this, there's 6,300 down here and then 19,000 up here. And that's because the default split is 0 0.25. So I could do something like this if I want, and then that would make this first one bigger and the next one smaller. So um, I'm gonna do that. Oh. And then uh, let me just see what I, I did wrong here. I think I actually have to say test size. So I'm gonna say test size equals that. And then this is gonna be a little bit bigger, more data to test on, and then a little bit less data to train on. And, and so there's some trade-offs there. Anyway, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back to this example that I had earlier where I was doing my training. And the idea is instead of fitting and scoring on the same data, I'm going to fit to my training data and then uh, score on my test data. So I'm just going to do it again from scratch for review. And I'm going to say LR equals linear regression. And, oh, there we go. And then I'm going to say LR.fit. And I have my uh, train data frame. And then I have a list of columns here. And then here I may have my Y column. Right, so that's the general strategy. And then what I want to do is I want to score it. Right, and when I'm scoring it, I'm going to give it a Y column and an, um, uh, and an X column again. I'm oh, sorry, I have to say train DF here. I'm going to give it that same information, uh, but now I'm going to be uh, doing the test data frame. Right, so I'm going to say test data frame and then same thing down here, test data frame. Right, and then what I'm going to do is um, for this, I'm going to pass in a list of columns like before. And what was I doing last time? I was um, looking at this positive uh, seven day average. And so I'm going to pass that in just like that. And the same thing here. And then over here, I can just look at that thing that I'm trying to predict, my Y, which was this thing. I'm going to pass that in and then the same here. I'm going to do that. And I see that, okay, my score is 0 0.16. Whereas, what would happen if I wanted to um, run it on my original training data frame? Like that, training data frame. And here it does better on the data I trained it on. So this suggests that there is some overfitting here, right? The model does better on the data it learned from instead of some new data um, it hasn't seen before. And so that, of course, is a, is a concern. And, um, and so there's different things I can try to do to... I'll avoid that and we'll eventually talk about some of those things this semester.